polynomial. A polynomial is the sum and differences of monomials. A monomial is of the form. Great, a monomial has a single term. The number in front of the variable part is the coefficient. The superscript on the variable part, that's your exponent. A polynomial with one term is called a monomial. Here's an example of one such monomial. Awesome. All right, we got more, we got more. What about this one? How many terms do you see there? I see two terms, two terms, terms are separated by the operation addition or subtraction? Sure. This has two terms. This is called a binomial. A binomial is a polynomial with two terms. Sure. Another such polynomial. Excellent. Here we have a, a, a polynomial with three terms. See them? One, two, three. The terms are separated by the operation addition and subtraction. All right, fine. Well, what's a polynomial with two terms called? A polynomial with one term is a monomial. Think monocular, or monogamy, or monopoly. Great. A polynomial with two terms is called a binomial. Think of bicep. There's two of them in there. Um, bisect, like in the line. Bifocal, biplane, biped. Yeah, I'm sure there's a couple more that you can think of that have the prefix by. What are we going to call a trinomial? Ah, there goes the cat. I let it out of the bag. A polynomial with three terms is called a trinomial. A's there. A trinomial. Sure. Think triceratops or triangle or trident. What do we call a polynomial with four terms? We call it a polynomial. Only the first three have special names. Um, one term, two terms, and three terms. List the coefficients here. The coefficients. The coefficients, excellent. Here, it's four and a minus three. I wanted to put that up there because the minus sign sticks with the term. And two, for sure, for sure. Awesome. Yeah. The degree of a polynomial is the highest number on any one of its terms, the highest degree of any of its terms. Here the degree is three, so this is a third degree monomial. Here the highest degree is two, so this is a second degree binomial. And here the highest degree is two, so this is a second degree trinomial. Awesome. What if your terms are mixed in as variable parts? What if, what if, what if, what if you had something like 3x to the third y squared? All right. 
I want to know what the degree of that monomial is. When you think of degrees, you want to think of how many places there are to put variables. There are three x's and two y's. So there we see that the degree of this guy, I guess this is our all in moment, is one, two, three, four, five. So this is a fifth degree monomial. That's about all I got to say about the introduction of polynomials.